Good morning everybody, it is Wednesday and I have a lot to get through so I'm going to have to go real quick. Today's video comes in two parts. This is Island Disc. Okay, so this is the third time I've filmed it because Katie just reminded me that I'm not allowed to have CDs and I have to have just tracks for this Desert Island Disc thing. So here we go. Um, this is my playlist. I've made it on iTunes. Don't please say any other things I should have had because I know, I know, they're, 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 I can't narrow down my music taste into eight tracks. But here we go. Firstly, we have... Um, Pictures of You by The Cure, which is just my favourite song of all time, possibly. Uh, we don't have much time though, so uh, secondly, we have Love, Love, Love by The Mountain Goats, um, which I got into through John's Leaving New York video, and it's just the best piece of music ever. Uh, thirdly, in an entirely different vein, we have um, Nemo by Nightwish, which I got into by watching videos of nuclear explosions, and it's just the best song ever and just uh, it gets me going and it's brilliant and I love it. Thirdly, in an entirely different vein, let's get that forward a little bit. Uh, that was good to get uh, right at the beginning. Um, yeah, this is Waiting, O Mistress Mine by Nitin Sawney, which is one of Shakespeare's sonnets, I believe the 14th, I could be wrong, um, set to music and it's absolutely fantastic. Fifthly, it's Pen and Notebook by Camera Obscura, this tiny Scottish indie band. They're brilliant. You should definitely check them out. I'll put a link to them in the uh, over there. Um, then we have 14th Street by Rufus Wainwright, which is just an absolutely fantastic, happy tune. Really, really nice, and I love it, but we don't have much time. Um, in a different vein again, we have Silence by Ivory Tower, who are a German progressive power metal band. Really good. I'll skip that for a little bit so you can get more of an idea. They're absolutely fantastic. Point Counterpoint by Streetlight Manifesto. The book is Gormagast. I don't have time to explain why, so pause now when you read the titles. Choosing my luxury item has been a considerable problem. Um, initially I thought, well, obviously, my climbing gear. It's got to be my climbing gear. I can't have that climbing. But actually, I'll, I'll show you. This This is an interesting, interesting problem. So down here we have all my climbing gear. Collectively, it is known as a rack, which means that it is just one thing. Um, so yeah, I can bring it, including my two 60 meter ropes, which will not be used for survival purposes because I just read the rules on Wikipedia. But if we just pan up from the climbing gear, we come to magic. Don't make me choose between climbing and magic. Please, seriously, these, these cups are awesome. Check it out. Check it out. This cup here. How can I do this? I know, I'm going to bounce the camera on my shoulder. There we go, this cup here. You see, empty underneath. I just take this uh, ball off the top and put it in that hat. You see, it disappears and it reappears under that cup. How can I live without that? Okay, so I've had a request from uh, Maureen Johnson. Thanks a lot for subscribing, by the way. Um, for some more magic on this video blog. Um. So I thought, well, fair enough, I mean, I talk about climbing all the time, and so I might as well talk about my other hobby, because that's actually interesting to you guys. I mean, climbing's pretty boring when you're not doing it. So, uh, I've got this trick, with this little sponge ball. And uh, what I normally do, but hey, it's horrible. What I normally do is just sort of, you know, doing talk my way through it, and, and, you know, just talk a lot. I mean, a lot. And everyone gets thoroughly annoyed with me, and sort of thinks, well, the trick was good, but he's really annoying. And then, uh, you know, they go away feeling uh, moderately unfulfilled, uh, which which works. But um, I decided today you guys don't want to see that. You guys are too good for that. You want some art. You want some real art. Just give me a second. By the way, check out my smug magician face. 